sneaking suspicion that when I found the water in the shed that uh, it was not actually a leak. Not actually a leak. Sorry, I haven't had any coffee yet. But, uh, cause you know, nothing I've built has fallen or leaked. So, I've never had a leak anywhere. So we had a real bad rainstorm last night. I'm like, well if this fucker leaks, it's gonna be soaking wet right now. And there's not a drop of water to be found. So, as I suspected, as my wife pointed out, and uh, occurred to me at the time that seemed to be the most logical explanation uh, would be the giant cat right there of the name Fluff and Stuff who got wet during the rainstorm and pretends to be blind but is not blind enough that it can't navigate and negotiate where it wants to go and just like it can climb right up to the top of that food thing no problem blind as a bat right up the fucking side of the pole um, yeah he was a wet cat and he laid down in there and that's what happened there so yeah and although this was a conversation long ago had um, I could do cripples crippies cripples and I may the way I understand it cripples are actually not structural they're simply a facade to attach something to or to paint something uh, so they're not actually structural that being said I probably could if that's what you're meaning I mean that's not really a cripple that's actually that it actually would be structural but if I went from here to here where the boards meet and I did the same thing on this side where the boards meet then I would be pretty happy with that and I think that's what I'll do the reason I didn't do it originally is because these are joined boards but I think if I do it at the seam I'll be pretty happy with that. Get a nice 2x6 and uh, cut at an angle, cut at an angle, how you doing all the way. Because that would still be better than this giant pole in the middle. I think we'll go for that. Although, truth be told, the pole is not bothering me that much anymore. I'm thinking I'm going to just. I'm thinking it would be better if it was gone. But then again, I'll have giant fucking things that I have to walk around every time I come in here. I don't know. Undecided. I just woke up. Let me have some coffee. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. You're fucking deaf as fuck. Are you fucking kidding me right now? What's up, man? I was gonna ask him the fucking... the test fucking bag question. Like, boys, how do you put... how do you bag a pizza? How do you bag a pizza? Uh, uh, how do you bag a pizza? You gotta bag... to bag a pizza... Um, first of all, you can make sure the bag's big enough, and then it's a trick question, fucker! You don't bag a pizza! Pizzas don't go in fucking bags, because bags are held like this, and that's not how you hold a pizza, stupid fuck! The only acceptable answer would be, well, technically, you could hold the pizzas like this, and then if you had enough skill, you could slide gingerly the bag over the pizza. If you had a buddy to help you, it'd be easier. You could hold them, and then they could... I don't know what the purpose of that would be, though, since you hold a pizza. EXACTLY! Because the bagger, he's stuffing my fucking pizzas! I'm like, hey, dipshit! Like, I'm watching him, I'm like, oh, really? He's stuffing my pizzas into a bag? Like, these are not frozen pizzas. These are deli pizzas. Soft, not cooked. It's like, fucking fall everything off, fuck face. So, you know, I don't know, is that gonna... Is it surely? Okay, well, he is. Okay, well, I'll just... Should I say something? No, I guess I'll just let him... Oh, and he's gonna put him in the basket like that, too! He didn't even set him flat on the... Hey, fuckface! You wanna... Oh my god! Jesus fucking Christ! How do you get to age whatever the fuck he is without being slapped repeatedly everywhere you go? I'll digress. My, he's not a poor little fella. He's a poor little dumbass. So yeah, I'm going... I'm totally going to apply for a job at Ingalls as a checker. I'm hoping they'll hire me, because that's totally... I'm just gonna... Just for a test. I'm just going to see how long they fire me, how long it takes. I'm just going to, like, every food item I'm going to handle improperly. Like, if you got bleach, it's going in with your steak. Like, <laughs> if, you got, if you got, like, carbonated beverage, they're vigorously being shook up before applied to basket, you know, placement. I, you know, fucking, just whatever I can do. Like, tomatoes on the bottom of everything, like pickle jars. Like, whatever, the heaviest fucking thing... Like, what, what's, what's, I don't understand, what's the problem? Pizza's always straight up. If they're frozen, give them a quick thump on the counter to make sure everything becomes dislodged within the frozen 
interior of the pizza apparatusai and um, just any other sort of and then just you know if I'm taking the oh god please let me take the fucking oh let me let me let me take the buggy out let me take the oh because I'm just I'm just gonna where, which one's your car man where are we go oh, the black sedan just letting that shit go in the general direction of it and boom up against the side and you know and then just throw with the bags into the trunk because apparently that's how you bag nowadays so you know maybe I'm being a little bit you know exaggerated in my but yeah I mean seems to be the way to go so what do I got like at least like 12 13 cats there are 457 birds in my yard good cats look at these fat bastards through my dirty windshield that I'm apologizing for my windshield this is my windshield right here on my house I keep my windshield my house. Where the fuck are you? Oh, there they are. Big ass fucking doves or something. 